In the last few years, why is it that our training s seems to be less effective? You know, to me, technology is a blessing and a curse. We have online training that we, we can be far more effective as far as cycling people through courses. We've got presenters that, that now have gone virtually and all of this helps us to get people through the courses, to get through the classes. But what it doesn't do, and it's kind of the curse, is that we're, we don't remember that we should gauge not by finishing a course or finishing a class or checking it off. We should gauge our success by what people remember, what, what they retain, how safe are they in the workplace. And to me, that's where VR really comes into play because it engages people. You can, you can step into their shoes and you can create an environment that, that they can't just check the box. They can't be one and done. They have to engage, at least in that part of the course, and that actually extrapolates out to a larger course, and they have the potential for learning and retaining, and that's where I think that, that we using these new tools will be far more efficient in gaining that, that retention. So I would look at this from the perspective of training appears to be less effective because it is. Adults these days want something that they can actually physically interact with. They want the ability to apply their learning directly to their job or skill. They want to learn on demand. They want instant access to information when they need it at their fingertips. Traditional training methods don't allow for that. They just don't. What VR allows for is the ability to start to allow adult learners to the answers aren't in front of them. They've got a, they, they, they get the opportunity to use the technology to explore environments and, and develop their critical skill thinking. So it's not just an, an instructor or an e-learning course pushing information. VR allows the adult learner to get immersed into the content and then they're able to self-explore. They're able to develop their behavior, um, their behavior skills of adventure and exploration and um, the ability to think creatively where the answer may not be apparent to them immediately. They've got to use all of their senses to be able to gather information, understand their situational awareness, what could happen, allow them to make choices, allow them to fail so that they can practice again to get it right. And, and it's not multiple choice, right? There's not a correct answer. You've gotta go figure out what the next step is. And that's the power of, of the technology. This is what is being demanded by adult learners today in the workplace. They want something that is custom to them for their specific needs, something that's relatable, something that is, um, geared towards their learning style and traditional training methods aren't necessarily able to accommodate that, but virtual reality technology is. So what you're really saying is to make training fun. It is, it's, it's, it's fun. And when we talk about retention and we talk about creating content that is memorable, it's the emotion behind the situations and the scenarios, the simulations that generate that emotion. And that is where the memory, muscle memory begins to be developed. We're still gonna see VR simulations that people are one and done. They are still checking a box. It's getting to the emotional component though of triggering anxiety, sadness, happiness, joy, curiosity. And when you can bring those into VR experiences, that's where the power is. It's not like 
everything has to be a failure. Everything doesn't have to be a failure in VR. Just self-exploration can be enough. The right answer shouldn't be right in front of your face because that's not how it is in real life. So recreating what it's really like in real life and then giving that to adult learners and something that they can engage with and reflect on that is similar to their environments is what's so powerful.